All right, this video is gonna be a little different for me. We're doing a little bit more on the build. Last week's video blew up. Thank you very much for all the comments, all the love. There's a ton of interest in Nightfall. So stay tuned, we're about to break this down. I'm gonna show you one of the coolest things that I've done to the Jeep since making that video. Hey, what's everybody? It's Kyle from High Ground by Nightfall, and I am here with Kevin from Black Armor Bed Mats. Just on my way to Whipsaw, and I was trying to figure out something to go into the bed of the truck. Met up with Kevin, who's also just here in, was it Abbotsford or Maple Ridge? Abbotsford, yeah. Abbotsford. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Black Armor, and uh, we'll take it from there. So Black Armor Bed Mats, we take recycled tires, we grind them up, and we turn them into the thickest, most heavy-duty bed mat that you'll find on the market. So. We're gonna hook you guys up here and, and set this truck up with some grip, some traction, some soundproofing, some insulation, a little of everything. Some R Factor, some I'm R -factor. stoked for this, so that that, uh, that chimney there keeps us nice and toasty uh, and it doesn't all leak out through the bed. Exactly. So, this is gonna be pretty cool. We're just gonna do a quick shoot on how we install it. As you know, we've got the Alu cab here and uh, we've got a little bit of a unique setup with the batteries. So we're going to have to do a bit of a custom install, lay this mat in and, uh, and we'll take it from there. And what's going to happen is I'm going to take it out, check it out on the whipsaw and let you guys know what I think. Kevin, yep. tell us a little bit about the bed mats. So this is our half inch thick black armor bed mat. Like I said, made from 100% recycled tires. Uh, this is a Gladiator mat. It weighs about 60 pounds. Um, most of our competitors for the same mat, you might see it at about 25 pounds. So that just goes to show it won't won't fly out of your bed when you're cruising down the highway or you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, for every one of these mats, it saves about six six end of end of life tires from ending up in a landfill or or getting incinerated. So that's always a bonus. Um, we've been around for over 50 years making mats from recycled tires from before recycling was cool. So. That's where we're at, and we're going to make this thing fit in that Jeep. I love that. Uh, one of the things you don't know about me is that my old man worked at Michelin Tire for 45 years. Got the watch, got all of it. The smell of rubber is reminiscent for me, and I'm pretty stoked to check this out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install it now and uh, see what the results are. So our mats are a little different than most of our competitors. These are actually revulcanized rubber. So we take the rubber crumb that comes from ground up tires and we actually vulcanize it back together, kind of melting it back together. Most of our competitors will actually bind it back together with glue or polyurethane based uh, products. And so they'll be porous. Whereas ours, if you spill some oil on here, you can wipe it back up, no problem. Competitors that are polyurethane bound, the oil will actually absorb down into the into the mat and then it ruins your mat completely and you got to pretty mat. much start right over hey yep, exactly nice and then you got to buy another one of these nice well uh, you've got a super cool businessman i really appreciate you uh 
you help me out with this, and uh, I'm gonna go put it through its paces on whipsaw. We'll see you're yeah. gonna see what it looks like on the other see side. How much mud you can get on this? That's one. it. Let's see how muddy I can get it. Well, fist bump for the show. Yeah. All right. Alright guys, I just want to say a big shout out to Kevin from Black Armor Bed Mats. Super cool. Uh, just want to be clear, this is not like a sponsored thing. I am not trying to be some sort of influencer. I literally uh, was talking to Be Right Back Gladiator V about wanting to get a bed mat. He had been talking to uh, Kevin about the trip we did in the Chilcotins. Uh, two and two clicked. I, I said, hey Kevin, uh, can I get one of these? I'm going out to Whipsaw, I'd love to have one. He said, dude, let me hook you up. Um, be cool if you kind of show the process and talk about what you think. And you know, they're a really cool company and as an entrepreneur, uh, the way that I'm thinking about this is if I can support another entrepreneur, um, you know, just good old fashioned, uh, helping out the homies with some of this content, some of these adventures, I think that's cool. Um, but you know, there's no sort of like deal going on here. I'm putting this out because I want to and I'm stoked on it and that's going to be the way it is here. Uh, no sellouts. So um, straight up, I uh, want to say I'm stoked on what I, we just installed. I'm going to head to Whipsaw now. We're going to see what it looks like on the other side. One eternity later. Alright, it's 10 weeks later. Instead of just taking this on the Whipsaw, I took it out every single weekend in some of the most gnarly terrain that BC has to offer. Don't believe me? Go check out my Instagram. Been to the Whipsaw, been to the Chilotans twice, been to the island. I've been by the ocean, I've been on top of the mountains. I've been at 8,000 feet, I've been at sea level. I've been next to water and I've been next to snow. I've been in sand and dirt and in mud. I've seen everything that BC has to offer and all of it has gotten tracked into this thing. So what do I think? I think this does exactly what it's advertised to do. If you're getting an IOCAB like me and you're looking for something to insulate, I think this is a pretty darn good option. I can't comment on the price because obviously Kevin gave it to me for free. Super good dude. So you have to make your own decision on that. But for what this offers, it's exactly what I was looking for. So let's talk about the things that are not perfect because no product is perfect. And this product wasn't actually designed for my use case. This product was designed for guys who are working in their truck, throwing lumber in the back, typically working truck scenarios. That's my interpretation. It wasn't necessarily meant for overlanders like me who were meant to get in the back of the truck, use it as a living quarter, stand up, get dressed, and sometimes even throw the occasional dance party. So there's only really two drawbacks that I see for my application. The first is that in the truck bed, there's these little divots. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're used for. Maybe to help stack lumber or something or run water out of the bed, I don't know. But in my scenario, when I get into the bed and I stand on top, there's a little bit of squishiness under the mat. Now, again, I think this is out of their control. They didn't really design it for that application. But for me, it's a little weird sometimes when you step down and you're sort of in between the rivets. But we can get past that. The only other factor is potentially the weight. As you heard Kevin say, this thing weighs about 60 pounds. And, you know, every single pound that's in the back of this truck is one less beer that I can carry. I'm already sagging a little bit in the back with the Terraflex HD springs because I'm heavily weighted down with the alley cab and all my camping gear. The first one's not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, if you're gonna stand up in the back of your truck, change, sometimes use it for dance parties, a little unevenness in the floor, not a big deal. You can get past it. It's actually kind of nice when you jump down from the bed, it insulates your feet, uh, as long as you land in between the things. So, not a big deal. The second issue around weight is probably the more considerable. But at the same time, with the help of some prescription drugs, I've lost about 60 pounds since February. Can you notice? So we're breaking even, is about what I'm thinking here. Now at the same time, a few more beers, not bad, but I don't need 60. Let's say 20 more beers, 10 more beers, a six pack. I think this is a great product. I think it's cool. And if you're into overlanding, if you've got an alley cap, you should check it out. 
finally smash that like button and leave a comment. This is a different type of content for me. Normally what I've been doing is more the epic adventure content and that's gonna be my mainstay. But the build video that I did last week got a lot of attention. It seems like a lot of you really liked it. There was a lot of questions. So I thought this might be an interesting content piece to do as well. Next week, tune in, we're going to Whipsaw. We've also got four or five other videos that I've been queuing up where we've been all over BC, including one very special video that we did with a bunch of other local creators, including The Story Till Now, Unriding Roads, Overlanding Overland, Crimson Off-Road, and Roaming Ramen Overland, which is Kevin from White Rock Dodge. So if you're not already subscribed, please smash that like button, subscribe. It costs you nothing and it means a lot to me. Over 99% of the people who watch our channel are not subscribed. I'm trying to get the numbers up to about a thousand followers. That would be amazing. Appreciate you and we'll see you at the top.